So let me explain to you how Excellentia works as an enterprise safety lifecycle solution. Why would you want to use Excellentia? Well, apart from the fact that it helps you in your overall process safety management uh, workflow processes, there are three main reasons. We have best-in-class tools, we have intelligent lifecycle integration, and we have some groundbreaking enterprise leverage of the data that you record when in Excellentia. And I'll, we'll, we'll I will touch on these three topics, each individually. First, best-in-class tools. You may be familiar with our SIL verification tool, uh, Silver. Uh, as I mentioned, that's what we started with, and uh, studies show it's the leading product in the market. But it's not just Exodus saying that this is the best tool in the world. It's not just an ARC study saying it's the most used tool in the world. It's our co competitors as well. I was at a uh, demo a couple of months ago for a large oil and gas company and uh, one of the questions that I got was, how do you justify the calculation results in silver? And I explained how we do that, how our development process requires that we you know, predict what the results are through alternate calculation methods, that we compare the results to, our, um, uh, to, to the actual output of the tool, that we run regression testing, and so on and so on. And the customer started to laugh and he says, well, all your competitors justify the correctness of their tool by saying that they compare the results to Excellentia. So our competitors use our tool to justify their software. It must be best in class. Other than that, we have other tools as well. You know, we have a fax tool, PHA has up tool um, that a customer indicated to us, it's the most rigorous tool we've ever seen to conduct has ups. It's not Exodus saying it, it's the user saying it. We have a layer of protection, we have a layer of protection analysis tool, LOPA-X. We have a SIL selection tool, SELECT. We have a tool that records safety requirement specifications for you. An alarm rationalization software, SIL alarm. And then we have a module within Excellentia that's called SILSTAT that we use to record operational events, operational failures, proof tests and demands on the process that we can then use to verify that the failure rates that we used during our SIL verification, that the initiating events that we used during our layer of protection are indeed adequately representing the real life application. All these tools are available as individual modules, but when you look at the Excellentia software, the beauty of the software doesn't start until you really start using all the modules together, until you start to integrate the entire lifecycle. What you want is that your fax data automatically flows into your layer of protection analysis. What you want is that your layer of protection analysis information automatically flows to your SIL selection, your safety requirements specification, and that your safety requirements automatically flow to your SIL verification, lifecycle cost evaluation, design SRS, detailed design requirements as a result from your conceptual design, that that goes into your proof test generator, that that goes into your alarm rationalization, and eventually that all that conceptual design goes into a operational uh, database in our SILSTAT recorder. But that's not where it starts. You know, the life cycle that you see in many of the standards is a top-down approach. We start with, uh, with, uh, in, uh, sorry. we start with conceptual process design and we go all the way to decommissioning. But the word already says it. It's a life cycle. And a cycle is round, right? So the real life cycle is a process where the output of your operational event collection is an input to your PHA. That's where you get your hazardous event frequencies. That's where you get the hazardous events that you want to look at in the PHA, so it's a cycle. The Excellentia software allows you to transfer that data, and it's revolving around the core, and that core consists of three parts. The first part represents industry knowledge, and that industry knowledge is represented in the tool through our equipment databases. If you're familiar with this silver tool, we have an embedded safety equipment reliability handbook database that you can use to select equipment from and automatically obtain the failure rate information. That's your industry knowledge. For the LOPA tool, we have an initiating event, an IPL uh, layer of protection 
For the LOPA tool, we have an initiating event frequency and IPL probability of failure database. And it's also part of this core uh, in the Excellentia software. The second part of the core represents uh, your project knowledge. We have libraries in the software that whenever you define an item, it's stored in that library and you can automatically then use that library item later on in the life cycle or reuse it within that same uh, phase of the life cycle. So for example, in the fax software, if you define a safeguard, let's say it's a rupture disk, and that rupture disk helps to prevent a certain hazardous event resulting of multiple initiating events or multiple causes, you can simply select that safeguard in multiple locations, and it's the same entity. Or if it's a safety and cement function, you can select it in multiple locations. But that safeguard item is stored in that library. So when I go to my layer of protection analysis, that safeguard item becomes an independent protection layer. That safeguard item shows up here and shows the exact same information uh, as, uh, as I already recorded in the PHA. And as I go along throughout the life cycle, whenever I add more information to that initial safeguard, if it becomes a safety and cement function, if I add information to the safeguard safety and cement function information, we will see that automatically show up in the silver tool. So the library allows us to collect all that information in a central place within the project. So that's the project knowledge. The third aspect here is the corporate knowledge or institutionalized knowledge. And the corporate knowledge represents the ability for you to configure your projects uh, any way you want. You can record node types with specific deviations that you can use for every project that you are doing in the fax tool. You can record specific custom data that you assign to, for example, the safety requirement specification that you always want to look at in addition to the default fields that we have in the tool that you always want to look at when you perform a safety requirement specification. So we have this project configuration. Part of the project configuration is also the risk configuration. So you can document your own risk matrix. There's no limits to the matrix uh, in, in this uh, core, uh, third part uh, of the core of Excellentia. So that is the uh, core within the overall Excellentia software. Now, in addition to the Excellentia data core, we also talk about a data stack. And you see that here where we have five different layers that the software can be used on. We started out with talking about best-in-class tools. You can use each tool individually. If you just want to do a process hazard analysis, you can buy the process hazard analysis tool, work with it completely independent. The data core is still going to be available to you. Corporate knowledge, industry knowledge, as well as project knowledge is going to be there. But if you want to benefit from the integration, you, you, you will use the software on the project layer. And the project layer uh, is what we just talked about on the previous slide. Data flows from one you know, tool to the next and so on. The third layer here represents our database layer. And the database layer is uh, an indication of our ability to communicate with third-party control systems to, for example, configure a master alarm database. So our SIL alarm software that we can use for alarm rationalization can help in establishing that master alarm database and we are able to communicate that with the basic process control system. The fourth layer is the configuration layer and we'll talk about that in a little bit more in the upcoming section on the Delta V Sys configurator, but we are able to automatically configure the logic for a safety PLC based on the configuration we do in the conceptual design phase, based on the detailed design requirements that we specify within Excellentia. And then finally, the fifth layer is our access layer, and that represents our ability to exchange information with uh, enterprise systems, like an ERP system or a CMMS system or a SAP system. We can communicate with those systems uh, through the access layer, uh, get information in, send information out, and so on. All of this is available in a scalable solution. Our licensing is based on concurrent use. With a single Excellentia license, you can model as many projects as you want, as many SIFs as you want. 
with a single license of the SILSTEP module, you can monitor an entire plant. You can, you, know, trend, you can track as many devices as you want throughout the life of the plant. Everything is based on concurrent users. There are no limitations to your ability to execute work um, when you have the software. If you have multiple people needing access to the software, then obviously you need to have multiple concurrent users. And we have different license options for that, but we don't put any limits on our software uh, for a single user license.